So now that we have the basics of sentence diagramming down, where we've looked at where to put the subject and the verb in our diagram, and we've looked at some modifiers, we've looked at adjectives and we've looked at adverbs. What we want to do now is look at another type of modifier, which is a prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase starts with a preposition. A preposition being a short word uh, that describes a relationship, uh, usually of time or place, but sometimes not. For example, of is a preposition meaning belonging to. But we have a lot of other prepositions, things like behind and under that show a relationship in space, uh, things like after that show a relationship in time. And so what we want to do now is look at a sentence that contains some prepositional phrases. So we have the boy at the end of the line sneezed. So, we'll start with our basic framework, our basic core of the sentence. And if we look at this sentence, we're going to hunt down the core of the sentence, and what we find is our, our subject in this case is actually the boy, and the verb, what did the boy do? He sneezed. So that is the core of our sentence. Now there's one other thing that we already know how to deal with, which is the determiner the, which is basically an adjective. It says which one. Um, and so we know that the is attached to boy. And now we have these other components in this sentence that we want to place. And these are both prepositional phrases. We have at the end. At is our preposition, and the end is the noun that it goes with, or the noun phrase. So that's a prepositional phrase. And we have another of the line. Of being our preposition, and the line being our um, noun phrase that goes with it. So what we want to do is figure out what kind of prepositional phrase. What's it acting as? And what we look at when we look at this particular sentence and these particular prepositional phrases, um, we find out that at the end describes boy. It's describing which boy? It's the boy at the end. Which one? That makes it adjectival. meaning it acts like an adjective. So, if we know it's telling which boy, then we know our prepositional phrase is going to be connected to the word boy. And the way we draw a prepositional phrase in a diagram is we have a diagonal line, that's where we're going to put our preposition, and then we have a level line where we're going to put the object of the preposition, that is to say, the noun phrase. So, we have at, and then we have the, actually, let me be consistent here, that's supposed to be green, and then we have end. So this is an adjectival prepositional phrase that's describing the boy. It's saying, which boy? Then we have this other prepositional phrase, of the line. And what we have to say is, what is this modifying? In this case, it's modifying the end. Again, it's adjectival. It's answering which one, which end is it? It's the end of the line. Or it could be what kind of end. So once again, we have a prepositional phrase, and we have of the line. So, what we show here is that 
of the line modifies end. It's saying which end is it? It's the end of the line. And then we have at the end modifies boy. It's which boy is it? It's the boy at the end. So these are adjectival prepositional phrases.